Hey everyone, welcome back to a new episode of the Internship Diaries. Today is kind of like a typical day, but it's also a little bit special. So I decided to record today as an art intern. So let's follow me for today. It's actually quite early right now. It's around 8.30. There are so many people around this time. You can even see how crowded from the reflection of the window. And let me tell you something, I couldn't sleep last night. I think I just slept for like three hours because I was a little bit nervous about the interview today. And I bring the tripod, ring lights and stops for an interview. They're actually quite heavy. Let's grab a very normal coffee from the 7-Eleven. <laughs> Every time if I'm the first one who arrived in the studio, I have to turn on the light. But I'm still so confused about which lights belong to which area, so I have to check every time. There's no people! I'm the first one. Oh my god. And Fanny also arrived, my internship partner. Every morning we have to start the show, uh, which is kind of like an exhibition. Hi, show. I just can't show. <laughs> We got the audio USB stuff, we're gonna unplug into the earphone. So when there's some visitor come, they can listen to this. It can provide them some information about the artwork or the artist. So this is the thing we're gonna do every morning. Also turn on the video art, like there's some video art projecting. Um, maybe on the wall or on the television, we're gonna turn it on every time we open the show. This is the show that our art internship organization holding that period.
We also gonna fix something from the booth of the studio. Mm -hmm. And in this morning, I got a one-to-one -one meeting with my supervisor, and we are helping out the colleagues to buy coffee and back to the studio now. So basically, these interview questions are prepared by Fanny. <laughs> this large painting was created by a bunch of kids when they visited the studio. It's part of the programs of our art organization. Svenny and I decided to use this area to do the interview layer, so we're gonna move this large painting from this area. So before we had to buy lunch, we're gonna set up um, our tripod and gonna figure out which angle we're gonna use and gonna try to test everything before the others arrive. Follow-up 
because you use media like a lot in your work. So, like, what are your considerations behind the decisions? Like, um, um, why do you want to like pick specific um, scenes or specific video in your work instead of choosing others? Um, I mean, it's kind of like whatever speaks to me. Uh, recently, I started going to this art wrestling club. I took pictures and videos of them, and it, it, it was just something that really interests me. Uh, I've got scenes of um, my grandma's door, um, the, the, the trash around my house, uh, the, the post office, scenes like that, and little bits that I walk past when I go to school. Like, uh, these are all the things that make up what I feel Hong Kong is. After we finish the interview, we finally have time to eat our lunch. And it's actually a very, very unique experience. It's also our first time interviewing artists. And we're really thankful that our art organization gave us so many good opportunities during our internship period. So if you're interested in watching the preview of the interview, I'm going to embed it at the end of the video. So now it's time for me to upload all the videos and photos I took today of the interview. So this is basically what we've done today as an art intern. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you guys in the next episode. So I was born and raised in Hong Kong uh, and then I left when I was 16 uh, to do my A-levels in the UK. With paintings, I tend to paint quite large. With videos, there's often elements of painting. There's often a lot of movement and uh, with VR. In response to uh, urban art spaces, I wanted to draw attention to certain things that you walk past that makes you excited. All the videos I chose, were videos I've taken myself when I was, you know, walking around in Hong Kong. I think ultimately I just want to be able to make work that I'm proud of.